everyone, I'm back again with another video. Uh, I'm terribly sorry that it took me so long to make this one, um, but a lot of things have uh, been going on, um, and it is it is quite difficult to find the time to make uh, a video again. Um, this is going to be a video about my uh, setup for uh, college. Um, these are the three things I'm planning on using for um, college, uh, as well as uh, my regular planner I'm still going to use a little bit. Please don't mind the mess behind me. I just came back from uh, college, so I just dumped every, everything on my bed. I'm also trying a new um, setup for filming, uh, so I hope you um, can see everything all right. Um, and that you can hear me because I'm farther away from the speaker on my phone uh, than I was before. Um, so this is actually just my uh, traveler's notebook. It's the CLYC one and I just got a new charm from uh, Onika Hemby on Etsy. It came in today and I, I liked that together with the, this um, cover uh, it, it was very um, autumnal I think. Uh, but this I don't actually use specifically for school. Uh, it's just my uh, plain old agenda where I write everything in all my appointments but uh, this one is general so I might write in there that I have classes uh, but I will never write which classes I have so I mainly just write in from then to then, I can't plan anything because I have to go to class. Um, this one, this is a uh, doki book. Uh, so it's about a five, but a little bit smaller. As you can see, my dividers stick out, but this one stays on my desk. So it's not really a problem that my dividers uh, stick out. Out. Um, if you follow me on, um, on Instagram, you've seen me show a picture of my new dashboards. I like that it's quite motivational for <laughs> school and then my dividers. And then in the back another dashboard. And papers for school. So um, I'm, I think I'm going to put this in front when the exams exam start. <laughs> it might give me a better um, idea for it. And the way I set it up is over here I have my color coding system. So every uh, class I'm following well, that's just my um, project uh, that I'm doing, my fi final project. Uh, because this is my last year of my um, uh, bachelor in the optometry. And then I'm starting a new uh, course, a new bachelor. Um, also in healthcare, <laughs> it, it, it's a rather new one, so I 
really don't know what could be in, in English. So, color coding, quite nice, quite simple. And then this is um, a bit of the schedule of my one, uh, of the newest one that I'm doing. And uh, I, because it's healthcare, uh, also I, um, so both of the bachelor I'm doing are healthcare. And so um, in our system here, if there are courses uh, that are very similar, you can ask the one school to say, or you did, we already did something that's quite similar. You don't actually have to do uh, that class uh, in this bachelor anymore. You can just take uh, the points you had from your previous, or you can just say I did it in my previous uh, bachelor. So I th that's why I only have three at the moment. I'm still waiting for, for one course where they should say it's okay, but everything else apart from these three, which I was expecting. Um, but that's only this semester. I do have other classes <laughs> next semester. Anyway, uh, my first uh, divider, I haven't labeled them yet, but I'm not sure if I'm going to, is uh, both. I put some Kiki K inserts in there and this, these are the, the mont insert but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use these or I'm going to use washi tape or that I'm going to use these these ones I printed from Filofaxi and uh, uh, they already have they already have the uh, dates on there, so that's quite handy. And this one I would use to write down my schedule and uh, specific tasks, maybe, or uh, holidays or anything like that. Maybe not tasks, because I also, for my, if you know, for my uh, normal uh, calendar, I bought the DIY fish inserts and I printed off the monthly charts for um, see October November December and uh, January although I printed January upside down it's not the end of the world it's a new year anyway and here like I did um, here um, classes haven't really started all that much yet so uh, but here I would write down all my tasks also long-term tasks and then I would um, mark when they are due um, and then check off when I worked on them this was quite short term task uh, so I think I need to put something on Sunday because I worked on it on Sunday and it had to be done today uh, but that's the plan and then maybe here I would put more of the very important deadlines maybe I'm not sure yet uh, but that I really that that here I just put loosely all the small tasks and here I put all the, the big ones like um, finishing the first uh, chapter for my um, final project or something like that that I see it separately that's the plan so that's that and then this one is my uh, divider for my final project in here I have some of the information about it and then once again I have some um, uh, Kiki K uh, note pages 
um, that I'm probably just going to use for clean notes because as you can see I still have these two and these are my workbooks but I'll, I'll come back on them later I always like to have something I can truly work in uh, and take notes in and so on but I, I if I want to study uh, or follow some kind of project I need uh, something clean to work out of um, even if what I uh, make from the clean version it can be quite messy I need something clean so I can keep my head straight and that's what I'm probably what I'm planning to put in here um, I'm not quite sure if for this project I'm actually going to use the papers but they're here if I, if I need them uh, I, I could just probably also put the uh, some printed pages like I did here with the information some printed pages in there next divider same I have some information about the course the class and then some Kiki K note pages uh, which I probably am going to use uh, to make everything I note down in class clean and structured um, and that's pretty much what's, what's been going on uh, now so information note papers uh, information note papers and then here I just have note papers but since I only have um, four classes that I'm following I'm, I'm thinking about just making this last divider a uh, general information divider um, I do have some um, health problems and I have both dyslexia and dyscalculia so in this divider I can probably probably put all the paperwork for those problems uh, that the school needs or that I get from the school from the from college and uh, put them in here to keep everything um, in one place and then in the back I just have some more uh, schedule and the uh, brochure for the new um, the new bachelor I'm, I'm following it's only the second year there um, you can actually follow this so it's it's very interesting let's hope it actually works quite well but that's not what we're here for then we have my uh, wikidori i uh, ordered this not that extremely long ago uh, from manda um, i will link her uh, etsy, etsy shop below it's called a wikidori it's just a fabric uh, for dory uh, in a five size see wicked or uh, in here i have uh, three uh, notebooks a5 uh, for one subject in my uh, second bachelor degree and for each class i have one notebook to take notes but i like to take all three to always carry all three with me that if I have some time um, between classes or something like that um, that I can uh, work on them in these books uh, then which also just arrived I have a folder from Annika Henby the same one from the uh, planner charm I will link it down below Sorry. 
so it's just a uh, six pocket folder so you get one here one here one here and then on the other side you also have three pockets to put all the the handouts that I'm getting also a five and then in here um, the, uh, the wiki door comes with four elastics so as you can see you have two here and it's the same on the other side so it fits everything I need perfectly uh, like I said uh, you have the folder from Onika Hanby and then you have a diary insert. In here I note once again my schedule. I will probably also note down, if I have room, um, tasks I have to do or something and, and holidays and things like that. But not too much extra information. Um, I don't actually have my full schedule yet. So that's why it's still quite uh, empty apart from some of the um, dates. Very few. That's why it is uh, next semester. Um, these are also the... Um, same pages as these one from uh, Filofaxi. I just printed them booklet but didn't cut them and just um, turned them into a bit of a, a bit of a card stock paper. I also printed them quite thick sturdy paper. So that's I really don't have anything written in yet um, because like I said not every class has started already and also I don't actually have all my my books uh, yet there were some problems with uh, ordering books so that's what I use this one for and then the last one it's pure coincidence actually that I found this this is a um, a cover from uh, Rodia um, and if you look down the side you can see there are some pins or something like that inside if I can get them out these are inside the rings and what it does is it keeps the notebook in place so it's actually a reusable cover because sorry because when the uh, notebook that's in here is empty you can just take it out and put in another one it also comes with a ruler and um, five dividers. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use all five dividers because this I'm using for my final project. Uh, since it's a very big project, um, pretty much my uh, thesis, if you can call it that. Um, I am just going to use the one thing uh, to put all my notes in uh, and sometimes also if you need it, put some uh, papers in there. So that's basically everything. I just take some random notes on the paper, put some ideas down and that's 
simply it's 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 really not the wrong of a video I noticed uh, in the back you do have some um, other pockets card pocket CD pocket and some extra stickers and um, it also came with some stickers that you can put onto the notebook um, to say what, uh, what it is. So I do hope that this keeps me organized enough. I have noticed um, lately after I think this is the fifth year that I'll be, be studying. So after four years, um, it uh, taught me uh, what I've learned these past four years uh, is that one, I need to write things down more. I need to write it and not type it because I usually always use my computer. Um, uh, I often, well most of the time, we had um, course notes from directly from our uh, professor, not, um, we didn't actually have that many books that we studied from, uh, and I, I got all my um, course notes online. A lot of others just got the slides, the PowerPoint slides online, but I got everything online, mainly also because of my dyslexia, and I had them read to me, so I worked a lot on and from the computer. Um, I have noticed that it really wasn't such a good idea, and that it's better for me to write things down. Also, for schedules and for uh, tasks, write things down, break things up a, a little more. That's why I also decided to put in my uh, monthly charts, just to break things down and make sure that I'm able to um, follow when, when I did something. Um, and also do it in here so that I can really use all the space instead of my um, regular uh, planner where I also need uh, room to uh, put down other tasks and things I need to do for uh, home and clean and everything so yeah that's ex actually just it I will keep you up to date from this because I know I noticed from looking on YouTube that there are very little people who only use uh, who use one file effects or planner uh, just for school so I do want to keep uh, following this up um, because this isn't really a system that I've seen um, all that much. I did see the, the separate notebooks and everything, but I like that I have one separate binder, one separate file effects, well, not the book, to, to keep everything uh, together and to have a um, nice one and more of a really work one. So, uh, anyway. Thank you all for listening. I hope you <laughs> liked it a little bit, even if it's a little fast and, and, and all over the place. Uh, if you have any questions or have something, uh, please comment down below. Everything I mentioned, I will try to link uh, below. If you notice that I haven't, linked uh, uh, something or set up said something uh, but haven't linked it uh, please tell me um, uh, 
the app and please like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to hear more about this and uh, thank you for watching bye